So you've saved up for a couple of months now and you're so ready na to upgrade your rig. The problem is, all of these upgrades are so overpriced right now due to COVID, yung silicon shortage, and among many other things. But that doesn't mean naman na you can't upgrade meaningfully right now. I'm Rocky the Programmer and in this video, we're going to give you the top 5 most overlooked upgrade paths na you can purchase right now. Ang video na to ay handog ni cdkoffers.com. Marami kang mahahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK Offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CDK ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. Okay, for scope lang, these items are either cheap or still available in SRP, while also still being a meaningful upgrade. And by that, we mean getting any of these items will significantly boost your PC or improve your quality of life sa paggamit ng PC mo. So, mag apply ito dun sa mga, syempre, naghahanap ng performance boost, pero yun nga, walang mabili kasi lahat overpriced. And also, yung mga magaganda na yung PC, pero they're still looking for that something na pwede pang makapag-up no kanilang experience. We've always said this, and we won't get tired of recommending this, but if you're still on HDDs or hard disk drives, it's really about time na you move on to SSDs na. SSDs are way faster, more reliable, and there are they are more durable talaga than HDDs. You can stop watching the video now and just go ahead and buy yourself an SSD. They come in a variety of forms, but even the most basic SATA SSD is leagues better than any HDD in terms of speed. If you make it your boot drive, meaning the drive where kung nasan yung OS mo naka-install, you're going to have literally boot times in seconds. And the overall OS will be smooth and snappy. Sobrang iba ng experience talaga niya. You can also combine SSDs and HDDs. Get a lower capacity SSD, say about 250 gigs as your OS drive, and get a 1 terabyte hard drive as your other drive para do sa mga pictures mo, movies. You won't ever go back to HDDs pag na experience mo na yung speed ng SSDs. So, SSDs range from 3,000 pesos up to 12,000 depending on the spec and the capacity. Just make sure you're getting one that has a DRAM chip. As DRAM-less SSDs, while cheaper, are more prone to failure and are generally slower. So, upgrade number two, switch to a mechanical keyboard. If you're still using your office source membrane keyboard, do yourself a favor and switch to a mechanical keyboard ASAP. We can't recommend this enough. You know, I've been a fairly recent MKB convert or mechanical keyboard and the quality of life improvement is comparable to an SSD upgrade. MKBs are smoother, have a more consistent feel, and are just all around better keyboards thanks to the mechanical switches. I really just can't go back to the gooey, marshy, inconsistent feeling of membrane keys. That consistency will also save you from wrist injuries and hand strains. Remember, 90% of the time you work, you're using your keyboard. Other than your chair, that's the most interacted item when you use your PC. I would say that the improvement is comparable to running on a track and field oval while wearing steel toe construction shoes versus wearing an Adidas Ultra Boost. <laughs> Ganun siya ka drastic. Now, there's a stigma around MKBs that makes them seem like a luxury, elitist item that is only for the snobbiest, richest bourgeoisie. And that's just not true. Mechanical keyboards come in different configurations and in turn, different prices as well. A decent mechanical keyboard can be had for as low as 2,500 pesos. Now, the price goes way up as you add more features like RGB, better keycaps, a more solid base, etc. But that's up to you. I'm currently using a GMMK TKL. Uh, I bought it for 6,000 pesos. It's got RGB and modular switches, and the caps are PBT, which just means they're more durable. All of the benefits I've said so far can be had by even the lowest spec mechanical keyboard. There's another myth 
that all mechanical keyboards are noisy and are for gamers only. That's not true. Yes, the most popular Switch, the Cherry MX Blues, are what we call clicky, but there are a ton of other Switches all having different types, clicky, linear or tactile, and actuation forces and points. For Jay, who is a gamer, he prefers the clicky blues. I, on the other hand, prefer browns as I am a light typist. There's a plethora of switch and cap combinations out there that you can find specifically for your needs and preferences. So upgrade number three, grab a mouse that fits you. Now there are a lot of mice out there with all the bells and whistles, macros, high DPI, RGB, ultra lightweight, and all those buzzwords. Don't be swayed by the specs though. Get a mouse that feels good and fits your hand. Don't mind that it only has 8,000 DPI and not 25,000. The most important thing here is that you get a mouse that won't hold you back and won't injure you as you use it. Take note of the weight, the profile, the shape, the click feel, and the surface paint. How it glides when you move it and that's very important. And finally, read reviews for durability. I'm personally using a Death Adder Elite and it's around 3,200 pesos. It's the perfect mouse shape and weight for my hand. But now I'm thinking of replacing it since it's getting double clicking issues now. I used to have an MX Master but it also broke and that goes for around 6,000 pesos now. So yun, yung Death Adder Elite, hindi naman siya yung sobrang ganda ng spec. Like, actually, isa nga siya sa mga like, mid to high-end range siya. Hindi naman siya super high-end. And mas marami talagang better specs sa kanya. Pero yun talaga yung maganda sa hands ko eh. So that should also how you look at getting a mouse. Ano yung pinaka-okay sa hands mo? Ano yung pinaka-okay yung feel? And yun, wag, ka, wag lang kayong magpagpadala kumbaga dun sa numbers or dun sa specs. So upgrade number four, look for your end game monitor. Similar to gaming mice, monitors have had buzzwords and silly marketing from outrageous contrast ratios to unrealistic response times. You really don't have to deep dive into these specs however. What you want to do is find a monitor that reproduces the best image and experience for your use. And remember, whenever you use your PC, it's the monitor that you are looking at. So if there's anything that's going to benefit from an upgrade, it's the thing that your eyes see 100% of the time. It's time that you get yourself a really nice monitor. We know we're all for the nicest tech here at Hardware Sugar, and it's in monitors that we actually recommend you splurge a bit because having a really good monitor makes all the difference. We've reviewed quite a few monitors here in the channel. There's even one of Anton's where I think he kind of forgot the main selling point of the monitor because he was so blown away by the picture quality. Good monitors start at around 17,000 and above. It's a bit pricey, but we do think that it's worth it. If you're a competitive gamer, go for a monitor with a TN panel so you'd have lesser input lag and faster response times at the expense of image quality. Pero hindi mo naman nga iisipin kasi kung maganda ba yun kasi all you want to do is win if you're a competitive gamer. Pero if you're a gamer naman who wants to be immersed looking at the sights, smelling the flowers, get a 1440p 27-inch VA panel with high refresh rate. That would be even more expensive but if your rig can handle 1440p, you'd never go back to 1080. Trust me. <laughs> If you're a multimedia professional or just an all-around movie file, get a 34-inch IPS 4K monitor. Look for specs like Adobe or sRGB 100% color support for professionals or HDR support for media consumption. Assuming, of course, that you have content with HDR. So upgrade number five, hear what you've been missing. Whether you're a professional working from home right now or a gamer trying to rank up on your current game, we can all agree that we can never pay too much for great audio. And luckily, we don't have to. If you're someone who loves listening to music while working, or a gamer who's about to play Red Dead Redemption 2 for the very first time, or just someone who's going to binge watch Loki, a decent pair of headphones is a must. It's almost half of the experience. It's about time that we move on from our beat up, barely working earphones with the horrible mics that came free from our phones years ago and get yourself a real headset. 
you know, decent headsets go for around 2,000 up to 10,000 or more depending on the brand and the features like wireless connectivity, RGB, noise cancelling, etc. The highlight of this upgrade though is the mic. Having the ability to communicate clearly whether at work or with your squad mates in your game is such a game changer. Actually, yun nga yung parang nag-push talaga sa akin to, you know, to play with my friends kasi uh, mas maganda na ka uh, laro mo mga friends mo tapos naka-discord kayo and you can really cooperatively play kahit ano pang mang game yun. Let's be ever in your favor. Ren, pasok ka dun sa ano? Bumaba pa sa pare na actually so like chill lang. Let's go. Go guys, go guys. Lapit ata. Start ship. Ni dalawa pa. Sana lang kaya ako. Ayun. Good job. I personally use this MH630, actually 670 to, pero yung 630 na ginagamit ko, halos pareho din, pero wired yun. It's surprisingly good, and in fact, it's it's such a great product, and yun yung reason ko kung bakit ginawa ko tong fifth upgrade. <laughs> the ear cushions are super comfy that you can wear these 24 hours a day without hurting your ears. The build quality is very solid, but most importantly, the audio is superb for around 2,500. This headset is just so good. So, yun na yung five, pero meron pa tayong honorable mentions kasi hindi namin na talaga masali kasi ang dami. So, number one, get a decent chair. We've reviewed a few here in the channel. Make sure it's sturdy, adjustable, and comfortable. Also, consider getting a DS4 or Xbox One controller for your PC so you can play a broader spectrum of games. Hindi ka lang puro FPS like fighting games or arcade racing games. Makakalaro ka nung ganun. Kami currently, pinagkaka-addika namin ngayon dito sa Hardware Sugar, yung, ano, yung Brawlhalla. And it's just, talaga for me, impossible to play at a keyboard. Pero si Ren, for some reason, ginugulpin niya kami na keyboard and mouse yung gamit niya dun sa fighting game. Also, consider getting a decent desk mat. Your desk will instantly look better and your mousing even smoother. Ako ginagamit ko yung, ano yung ginagamit ko? Patag. Yung, sa, yung sa patag. And sobrang ganda ng quality niya and ang ganda ng designs. And yun, marami kang mapapagpili ang designs. Talagang ma-personalize mo yung space mo. Sport local. And finally, consider changing your case. Sometimes, all you really need is a visual upgrade to make things fresh again. Di mo naman kailangan talaga mag-upgrade. Pero gusto mo, syempre, na maging exciting ulit na tignan yung PC mo. And changing a case, especially kung medyo outdated na yung case mo, is a really great way to freshen things up. So anyway, if... If you like the video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And consider now you visit yung aming physical store dito sa Makati, Hardware Sugar at Giho Street. And i-check out nyo yung aming forum, yung pwede magtanong at pm.hwsugar.ph. So see you next video. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puan nato. De joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Ongkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.